What's up folks, Justin Connor here. Let's do another unboxing. This one is from Suisen. The box is almost textured to look like leather. That's really interesting. You do have Suisen's Enox logo on the front and opening the box, there's our knife. But this knife is special in that, yes, it says Corin on the front, but on the back, Yep, that's my name. So protective plastic sleeve comes off. Look at that shine. I know it does look like this is brown and black wood, but the wood that is looks black is actually really, really dark brown. I don't know if that's showing up right. There's definitely black in it, but it's not 100% pitch black. And I remember this knife's been around for ages, this colorway of a knife, and it always stands out on cutting boards compared to everybody else who has a Western handle that's just black. Yep, I'm back again. We're doing one more clip from my conversation with Vincent because I think the recommendations for this this one fits so many of you so well. If you missed the first video, it's linked right up here. This is an excerpt from the Emulsion podcast. I know that the Emulsion has its own channel now. You can go check out the full interview with Vincent if you want, it's linked down below. But we're progressing in stages of our career with these videos. The last video is all about culinary school. This one's all about you just started your first professional job. Maybe you're moving from your small town into a big city and you wanna know what gear you should buy. I think Vincent's really thoughtful with his recommendations. He's really practical and he really makes sure that he finds the right knife for where you're at. This this and Enox knife is one that he recommends, and I'm going to make a review of this knife as a full video on the channel. Man, they did another felt-lined box for this one. It's so nice. Every single knife that Vincent talks about has been meticulously linked down low in the show notes so you can find exactly what you need. It's an affiliate link because I'm a partner with Corn now, which is crazy to say. I really can't believe it. You folks supporting the gear review videos for this long is the only reason that that is possible. And as of uploading this, Corn is having a 20% off sale right now. So if you want to support the channel, you want to make an upgrade, you want to go into 2020 with some new gear for your station. I'm gonna send it to New York. I really appreciate Vincent's insights and being able to share them with you. Don't forget to comment your questions about this knife down below in the comments so I can include them in my review. Uh, this next person is a line cook in a, this is so funny because we just ate at a, a place that's like a New York izakaya restaurant. Okay. So it's, um, you might have a lot of production to do, but you need a little bit of range. So you need to be able to kind of like split shrimp in half. You need to be able to clean mushrooms. Maybe you need to slice like chashu, you know, pork. What's what's in the, and you, I, I say this person, cause maybe it's like, they're moving from St. Louis to New York. Whatever gear that they happened to have before this was like fine, but they're like, I'm making the move. I'm really gonna start taking cooking professionally seriously. I'm gonna be a line cook at a New York City restaurant. What's like the kit for them? Maybe two two knives, three knives, maybe that you're well, thinking. Well, you know what's funny is uh, a lot of chefs told me that they really like, for that kind of scenario, a smaller, like a petty knife or a small santoku that's like um, seven inches, 180. And what they do is they leave it right by their cutting board. Uh -huh. So like when they need to grab something, oh, they got to clean mushrooms real quick. They just grab that small knife and they're able to do it. Or right before serving and plating, they just need to do a couple of slices. These smaller knives that are really nimble um, is, is a good option for that. Uh, because you're set, it seems like a high volume place, I would also go with mid to harder steel. So uh, ones that come to mind, Togihara Inox, um, Misono 440, uh, Suisen Inox as well. These are again, gonna be kind of a uh, mid range, but hold its edge for a long time. Very versatile knives for the Santoku and the Petty. What I always found when I would set up my stations in that way, where you are rotating between a couple of different knives, so you don't put so much pressure on one blade in your kit mm -hmm. so that you can usually almost like spread that workload across your week so that you're not having to just like every two days you have to hit your knife on a stone. Right, right, right. Because right. it's like, and, and especially with like petty tasks where sometimes you're on the board, sometimes you're off the board. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to go for that hard of a steal because it's not getting that exactly. abuse. Yeah, so you know, even softer steels, if you're using it in your hand, it's just gonna stay sharp longer. You know, it's not hitting anything hard unless you're constantly pitting avocados. Right. <laughs> uh, this next person is at a two star or a three star Michelin French or Italian spot. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of this kind of detail oriented prep, kind of really precise knife cuts, maybe some, maybe a little bit of butchery, but like the protein's expensive, right? So they, it's gotta be they can't be hacking through this this protein, right? So so what's for them, that person? So I think something like that, you have a little bit more, uh, I guess, time to work on each piece, each, each component. This right here, this is a, um, a single edge Yanagi that's really short, but it's it's kind of, uh, you can use it like a petty knife. And it's got a K-tip too. It's got a K-tip to it. Beautiful. And the single edge nature makes it extremely sharp. So if you're working with like, 
um, raw fish, for example, or raw proteins, it's really gonna do minimal damage to the structure as you're slicing, it really keeps it fresh and clean. Uh, so something like that I think would be a great uh, you know, addition to the arsenal in that scenario.